And we're talking about a lot of the new companies, the new issues that are about to hit the market. And here is the next conversation. The uh, IPO of Capital Small Finance Bank has opened out for subscription today. Now, this issue is priced between 445 rupees to 468 <coughs> rupees uh, per piece. To talk about the business model, the company, and of course, the management we have with us, uh, Sarvjit Singh Sarma, MD and CEO at Capital Small Finance Bank, along with Munish Jain, Executive Director and CFO of the company. Gentlemen, thank you very much and welcome to Mumbai and to our studios. So, you know, for the, the, the just, uh, to get, give some context to our viewers, of course, as a small finance bank, I think you were one of the very early movers in India, right? Setting up operations in 2016 or 17, yes, I believe. 2016. 2016. Yeah. Uh, in terms of size, you were still smaller than a lot of your peers at just under 6,000 crores of AUM. So just start by telling us uh, what is the business strategy going forward from here? Because you're concentrated in the north of India, Punjab being the home state, a lot of exposure around, you know, NCR, Haryana, etc., and you cater largely to the uh, the mid segment, Mid middle income, group. The, the middle income group. So mm. just tell us about uh, what your trajectory is going to be uh, in the foreseeable future. Yeah, thank you, Surbi. Actually, we started uh, as India's first small finance bank on April 24, 2016, and we converted from a local area bank. We were the largest local area bank for 16 years, operating out of five districts of Punjab. Mm -hmm. The areas was allocated to us at that point in time. So Punjab is a 22 districts rate. So when we converted that, the trajectory for uh, uh, say uh, expansion opened. Mm. Uh, so, but since in Punjab also we were present in a, within Punjab also in a very limited geography. Mm. So it was meaningful for us uh, to spread all over Punjab, which we have done. But at right that moment only we started expanding to other states uh, as well. We have a very fair good presence in the state of Haryana now. And uh, otherwise, we are in Rajasthan, uh, we are in Delhi, we added Himachal, and we are in Union Territory of Chandigarh. But Haryana also, we have a fair good presence now, and we, which we uh, personally call that we are in the process of making Haryana next Punjab. So we have, we have maintained a contiguity in our expansion because in the type of business uh, model which we are. If briefly I discuss about the business model, we are very granular on both sides of the balance sheet, whether we talk of assets or liabilities. Uh, and uh, uh, we, uh, we are uh, totally focusing the middle income growth. Mm -hmm. We are neither at the bottom of the pyramid, nor we target HNIs. Mm -hmm. So this is a clear cut segment, which we define it early from income level, starting from four lakhs to 40 lakhs okay. is our uh, niche, which we are targeting. So, you know, if I, if, if I could just come in on that, let's talk about the asset sides, you know, the kind of sectors and, you know, uh, people and communities that you're lending to. Uh, a lot of it is, I think, on the agri side as well. There's a fair amount of loan against property. So I just want to come about the, come to the health of the book. And right now, I think the the gross and net NPA levels are, you know, fairly kosher. And I think the analyst community is also quite, uh, you know, satisfied with it. Your slippage ratio as as of the first half of the fiscal was one and a half percent. The provision coverage ratio that kind of caught the eye. It, it's just at around fifty percent. Just tell us about the health of the book uh, and whether you plan to shore up provisioning as yeah, you go forward. Yeah, uh, uh, just briefly, I'll just tell you a background to mm. that. Say, in our, our advanced book is secured to the level of ninety nine point eight percent. Okay. We are into we are totally into secured lending. Mm. As I have earlier said, we are not into MFI business. So okay. and uh, directly and our average ticket size is thirteen lakhs. Okay. Uh, average ticket size is uh, thirteen lakhs. And one sh should uh, uh, like a strong point I uh, comment on this is that the bank doesn't have a right of an NPS sell off uh, policy. We have not written off anything. Cleansing of balance sheet has never happened. Mm, okay. So whatever the data uh, we, is there in the document, or it, it is all recovery based, the NPA number or the GNPA, or what, what we talk. If I further slices down to GNPA, average GNPA, from financial year 21 uh, to this half year 24, uh, we are the fourth lowest average GNPA in this entire period, in the entire banking industry. I'm not comparing it myself to the, uh, my peers. Mm. I'm comparing it my, myself to my big brothers. Okay. So this is uh, the type of asset quality which we have been able to exhibit and maintain even in the, say, the COVID period also falls Successful in period. this. So, yeah. so this is the, from, uh, so to further answer your uh, question, mm. uh, partly I have been able to do that. I'll hand it over to Manish. Yeah. Manish uh, to, I to just take. want to add a couple of points here. Uh, so we, if we look into this, the credit cost, which is a parameter how you operate. If we look into the credit cost, that is credit cost of us, 
from COVID period, I'm talking about the during the COVID period, FY21 to H1, our average credit cost is 0.28%. Lowest in the SME space. Mm. Keeping that thing in mind, keeping in, uh, so we are maintaining a PCR of on the upward of 50%. We strongly believe uh, our asset book, which is 99.8% secured, with 84% plus book, we have a collateral in the shape of immovable. So the money is recoverable, just there is a timing gap. And but we for a long assets we provide for the provisions. No, oh, fair enough. I think yeah. you've, you've described a lot about the health of the book and the prudence with which you're lending. So Rima, perhaps we can talk about growth then. You know, uh, the growth, plans of growth in the book. Uh, and I wanted to actually even get in a question on NIMS uh, because your net interest margins at four percent and it's been fairly consistent around that four percent band is lower than peers. So Utkar Small Finance Bank is nine point seven percent. Ujjivan is at eight point eight percent. Equitas is at eight point three percent. So can you tell us why your NIMs are lower than peers? Uh, if we look into the NIM, NIM is a function of the asset allocation. Hmm. Now, if we talk, look about the target segment, we became a middle income group lender with the lesser credit cost and the secure lender. So our operating model is typically 5.7 to 6% interest spread entity. Okay. We are consistently maintaining an interest spread that is a difference between yield loan advances and cost of deposit of 5.7 to 6. Okay. Within this net interest margin is the outcome of the asset allocation. Mm. FY23, our average CD ratio is 78%. Your average? CD ratio, CD ratio. that is a credit to deposit ratio, is 78%. Okay. We are coming to the market to raise the more money, to help us fuel up the growth, and mm. to increase the CD ratio to higher numbers. Mm. So with the, what we believe, if we are maintaining the similar type of interest rate and continue to improve the CD ratio, there is a huge opportunity available to improve the name. Okay. That is the point one. And second, if we compare ourselves with my, my brothers you mentioned, mm. we being a secure lender with the lower credit cost, credit cost in the range of 0 0.28, significantly lower than the payers we are talking about. Our cost of operation, 2.9%, significantly lower than that. So typically, we are in an operating model, which is typically different. We call so, ourselves. So in a simple way, can we say lower risk, lower reward? Is that what explains your uh, NIMS? So I will say, ultimately, the entity shall be giving good returns to the stakeholders. Okay. Even in 2023, in H1 this year, sure. our return on equity is upward of 16%. Got it. And uh, typically, with the, the ultimately, the objective is that. So rather than changing sure. the higher margin, consistency is that uh, target which we are here. We always call ourselves, we are a differentiated banker in this differentiated banking stream. Okay, just two, two last uh, you know, numbers, if you can give us. Uh, what will the capitalization levels be after the issues uh, done? And also just give us a sense of, I know you can't give forward-looking statements, but in terms of uh, loan growth, AUM growth, what is the CAGR track record last uh, three, four years? And what, what, what is a sustainable sort of rate for you? Uh, if I take this question, uh, so we, if we talk about the pre-COVID era, that is FY 2017 to FY 2020, our loan were growing at 34.5% CAGR during the COVID. FY21 to FY23, we are growing at 21% CAGR. Now we believe COVID being behind us and the opportunity to growth in India is significant high. And uh, we believe MIG is going to be the biggest gainer. So we are coming to the market to accelerate the growth journey uh, to the, those levels. Mm -hmm. So with that thing in mind, the growth capital is pouring in. So we believe the sustainability growth is significantly higher, as you rightly mentioned. I, we are constrained giving the forward-looking number. But if we look into the all other parameters, maybe we, as far as the or capitalization is concerned, we believe over book value uh, on a trailing quarter basis. I'm talking about September 2023 basis, post issue basis, is 257, being valued at 465. So typically 1.81 trailing quarter PB multiple. Mm -hmm. So we always believe to give the right return matrix to the existing and the upcoming investor. Okay. And that's a similar philosophy we want to carry on. Okay. Sure, we'll leave the conversation here out of time. Thank you very much. Uh, Munish and Sarabjeet for joining in and wish you all the very best. Thanks. And look forward to chatting more with you and we could get a sense of the forward-looking uh, numbers. We'll get into a break on that note. On the other side, we'll discuss market fundamentals. Manish Dangi from Macro Mosaic Investment, Investing and in Research. Join in next.